Hello, and welcome back to e-commerce at scale. As always, I'm Carl, and I'm joined today by Andrew Pillay, one of our resident e-commerce and online payments experts. Andrew, today we're talking about buy now, pay later. And with the likes of Klarna and Afterpay grabbing a lot of headlines lately, a buy now, pay later option would seem like a must have for any e-commerce merchant. But with so many BNPL and more traditional credit offerings available now, how does a merchant know which one to choose? Very good question. Thanks for the question, Carl. Um, yeah, I think let's start off with what is buy now, pay later. Buy now, pay later is the ability for you to uh, take a credit line item and split it over a very short period, which is often less than 12 months, right? Um, there's a couple of providers, you know, PayClix, uh, Pages Now being the tech innovators. I would suggest that these guys were the biggest disruptors over the last two to three years of general e-commerce. Um, and being a disruptor, what they've really done in the buy now later space is they've made it very easy um, for variable demographics to transact and engage with the with the with the brands that they love and uh, you know want to work with on a continuous basis. And um, I think when you start looking at one of the biggest barriers in e-commerce for buy now pay later is cost. Cost is the biggest barrier. It's twice the price of a Visa Mastercard transaction. Um, where you're looking at anything between four and a half to five and a half percent uh, is what these guys are charging. And that's per transaction can get very expensive very, very quickly. One of the things we know about buy now, pay later is that, and we can see this, these guys are doing marketing and advertising that is ex increasingly um, quite aggressive, right? And they're getting more and more aggressive each year. When you look at the statistics behind how quickly these uh, buy now, pay later solutions are growing, they're growing at an average of 75 to 85% per year. When you look at those brands that work with us and any of these solutions that are putting additional marketing and advertising behind them, we know that you could easily achieve 150 to 200% growth if you've got the right marketing mix directed to the right way in which you choose to bring on your consumer. So buy Valpalita as a flexible and convenient product where the only barrier really is cost. And... Um, it becomes one of those solutions that I'd say, um, if you can get through the cost and you know that it's attracting a wild variety of different demographics that are out there in the market uh, through their marketing and advertising, why not pick all? If you can afford it, if you can digest it, you've got a solution that is going to make it easier for your consumers to make use of you. And you know, there's one or two things I can say in addition to this, right? Um, we know that one out of 10 South Africans tried a buy now, pay later solution through the last two or three years. I would estimate that that figure could grow to three out of 10 just this year alone, right? So across the four or five guys that are out there, you've got Payflex, you've got Pay Just Now, um, you have um, FinChoice, Zero Pay, Time Bank's got a version of theirs as well, Happy Pay being a new entrance to the market. If you can afford to use that, given that they market and advertise extremely aggressively across these variable demographics, use them all. There's nothing stopping in your way as long as you can afford to do so and the model makes viable sense for what it is you're actually selling to your consumer. Yeah.